Today, we are rebuilding the Carolina Panthers. Now listen, I am a Carolina Panthers fan. Uh, I have been since 2011. Probably one of the worst feelings in the world to be a Carolina Panthers fan. I just made a bet with my buddy, $100, who's gonna win first? He's a Pistons fan, I'm a, a Nuggets fan, so I'm a little bit blessed in that regard. But he's also a Niners fan, and I'm a Panthers fan. Whichever team between the Pistons and the Panthers wins a championship first in our lifetime, the other person owes $100. And honestly, I don't want to bet on the Panthers, but the Panthers are in a terrible spot. Now, listen, I was a big fan of the Bryce Young pick. I wanted Carolina to select him at one. I thought CJ Stroud was going to be good. I did not think he was going to be this good. As you can see, every rookie quarterback, for the most part, besides Bryce Young, has been excellent. Now, some have been better than others, but Bryce Young has undoubtedly been the worst performer. But he's also in by far the worst situation, I would say. So, if we look at the team... It did take some simulating. Don't mind all the coaching credits and whatnot. I'm not going to abuse them. But we've got a team here that resembles the Carolina Panthers for the most part. And this is going to be hopefully a four-year rebuild. I don't really want to go any longer than that. I'm hoping to be able to rebuild them as early as possible. But first, before we actually get into the roster, I want to show you what the settings we're going to be using are. So we're going to be simulating every game on hard. So that way it takes into consideration the player's attributes. If you play on extreme, as you guys know, it's going to make everybody you play a five-star. So then the team building aspect becomes completely impossible also i've made five star offense and defense teams simulating on extreme is almost impossible to win a championship so hard is the difficulty two minute quarters for realistic stats and scores 12 man roster so let's get back into the actual roster themselves we have the rookie quarterback bryce young he has exceptional arm talent you know he's very mobile for a, a shorter quarterback he's not as mobile as obviously kyler murray or some of the other scrambling types but he has potential to be a very good quarterback if they give him enough time in the pocket the offensive line has been awful icky Kwanu has been terrible i'm not even going to put him on the team because it just it'd be a one-star offensive lineman it'd be completely useless but i genuinely do believe in bryce young i think it's going to take a little bit of time obviously but we need to get more weapons around him and you'll see that as we move on to the running back chuba hubbard you have one year left on his deal 23 years old. He's pretty fast. Uh, he can catch a little bit out of the backfield, but obviously his stats are not going to be identical. Not everyone's stats are going to be identical to what they are in real life. I'm trying to make it pretty close, though. And then we move on to Hayden Hurst, uh, you know, middle-aged tight end. He's not not great. Uh, you need not a great weapon over the middle of the field. Tommy Tremble was beating him out for snaps. If that is any indication of how good he is. Jonathan Mingo, the rookie out of Ole Miss. Uh, Got to work on his hands a little bit, but, you know, as a, as a playmaker after the catch, not bad. Could be worse, but he's definitely not going to be a number one, even at his full potential. I, I highly doubt it. Now we move on to Adam Thielen, who is 30 years old. He's regressing, and uh, that speed's definitely coming down, but he was productive this year. Probably the most productive piece on offense. Him or Chuba Hubbard, honestly. Taylor Moten, he's a solid solid offensive lineman, really strong. Not not great technique, but, you know, he's, he's good. Brian Burns, by far the best player overall four and a half star he's getting paid a lot of money but hopefully he can stick around and actually win a championship with us Deion jones he's old he's not very good anymore he's kind of floated around the league a little bit jeremy chin very solid safety linebacker hybrid player fast tenacious instinctive very fun to watch and we have dante jackson who is getting paid a decent amount of money and he's really kind of probably gonna start regressing here soon he's very fast still He's undersized. He's not a great tackler. And that's the team. So right now we still have 74 mil in cap room. We also have first round pick. We're definitely going to have to just get rid of that because we don't have first round pick. I think also that's why being a Carolina Panthers fan is so tough. The team is terrible. Uh, the shenanigans by the owner, egregious. I mean, it's, it's literally a joke. Just fired Scott Fitter, the GM. Obviously, we need a head coach. In Retro Bowl, we're bringing in Jim Harbaugh. Now, it does say he's 77 years old. In real life, Jim Harbaugh wouldn't touch Carolina with a 25 million foot pole or a 25 million dollar contract annually there's no way in hell jim harbaugh would come here i can't imagine any coach really coming here because this is going to be a train wreck especially considering the fact they don't have a first round pick it's the number one overall pick goes to the bears and i'm slowly going to be trying to progress the stadium the rehab facilities and, and everything else for this first season i'm going to be bumping the training regimen up to hard for offense and defense clearly it doesn't matter if we win or lose we just need to get xp players that will develop jeremy chin probably going to reach his potential hopefully by the end of the year bryce young better just skyrocket i'm hoping to god he does and uh jonathan mingo so those are the players we're looking to kind of build on as far as expiring contracts are concerned for the end of the year we've got three so it's going to be Deion jones who can walk adam thielen who can walk and chuba hubbard who can walk so we've got all of our important players locked up for at least two years 
let's go ahead and get the first season out of the way. And as I'm simulating, if anything notable happens, I suppose, uh, maybe I'll let you know. Now we start losing. 38 to 14 to Seattle. Jonathan Mingo gets injured. This is this is looking more like it. No picks for Bryce Young, but not great overall. We're going to continue to upgrade his accuracy. Jacksonville offering us Juju Togiai for a third round pick. We need to hold on to what limited draft capital we have. Kansas City wants Adam Thielen for our first. Hmm, do we justify that trade? Through three games, he's got three touchdowns. Uh, man, there, there's no way we're ever going to be able to get that much value from him. But that's just not realistic. It's not a realistic trade. We're not going to we're not gonna take it. I want this team to perform well because we have nothing to really play for. So it really doesn't matter whether we're good or not. We're not playing for any draft capital. We're not playing for, you know, positioning. Another offer for Adam Thielen for a first? This one's from New Orleans. Do we do it? Who's offering a first? He's an expiring contract. Where is New Orleans? New Orleans uh, in the mix. It'd be an interdivisional. They're 0-4. Why would New Orleans be offering a first for Adam Thielen when they haven't won a fucking game in seven weeks? Kansas City, where were they at? They were at least they're at least contending. That made more sense. I'm not gonna accept it. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm gonna save you guys the the hassle of making a terrible trade. Adam Thielen's out. We probably should have shipped his ass off. I take it all back. Trade deadline. So who can we ship off? Half the players we have are injured or toxic. So that's not good. I'm not going to use any of these coaching credits to pump up uh, my, trading, my training facilities or rehab or whatnot. Because we didn't really earn those during this. There was just stuff that I had developed throughout the season in order to be able to build this team to begin with. As Chuba Hubbard breaks the single game record, 296 rushing yards. I will say too that... I expected Carolina to make a push for the playoffs. I mean, I the division's clearly terrible. Tampa Bay won uh, with, like, barely a winning record. But at the same time, too, I thought Carolina— I thought Bryce Young was going to be better in his rookie year. I really did. Uh, and I think a lot of people did, too. And I thought the Panthers could have been a sneaky playoff team because I thought they'd actually be able to win out their division. I never thought they'd be a good team. I just thought that—wait, what'd that say? Anyway, I thought Carolina's going to be decent, and I think that having such high expectations with nothing to play for besides pride is part of the reason why it's so hard to be a Panthers fan right now. I mean, yeah, we did make it to the Super Bowl like seven or eight years ago, so we have that. A lot of teams haven't made it there at all. It was just a one-year wonder. I mean, we were relevant for a few years with Cam Newton. That's really it. Yeah, come get me. Yeah, you can, you can take Dante Jackson. I, I promise you that. He's not going to do anything for you. Ron Rivera takes down his former team, 8-7. and seven. We're in the hunt. We would have to win this last game and have a lot of things happen for us to make the playoffs in our first year. And we're out of the hunt. Okay, so there goes that, uh, you know, potential potential. Super Bowl Cinderella run and we take on New Orleans for the last week. Can we can we play spoiler? Hey, 40 to 19. We knock off the 313 and 1. We spoiled them. We spoiled them hard, didn't we? End of the season. Washington and the Jets have the first round bye. Um New York Jets win the Retro Bowl. I also am going to copy the teams from save one so that way we have the names of the actual teams as opposed to the cities. I think it looks better. But let's see. Bryce Young stats. Okay, uh, pretty good. Chuba Hubbard. Alrighty, these stats are pretty good. It's kind of hard to have a realistic, realistic season, I suppose. Uh, pretty insane stats overall. Let's see, did anyone win awards? The, the awards is already over. Bryce Young had 55. Okay, obviously we're rejecting all their offers. Bryce Young had 55 touchdowns and six interceptions, and he didn't win Rookie of the Year. I guess uh, by these metrics, CJ Stroud probably had 75 touchdowns and three interceptions, so... That's fine. Chuba Hubbard, who had 1,900 rushing yards, average almost 10 per carry. He was pretty good. He wants 18 mil per year. We could afford it. Adam Thielen, 70 for 1,414 touchdowns. I wish you could see the draft ahead of time and make it a lot easier. I'm going to I'm gonna say no to both of these guys. Well, we don't have any draft capital. What am I thinking? Okay. We'll re-sign Adam Thielen. And you know what? Fuck it. We'll pay a running back. We got enough money to do so. So we'll bring everybody back. Now, I guess we'll hop into the draft where we will basically just trade this first round pick for three coaching credits and now we're on to the second round we are actually going to ship off adam Thielen. i know we just brought him back i don't want him because we're bringing in a different free agent that is going to make a big difference let's just say we put the absolute brinks truck back the huge wide receiver acquisition and number one target in t higgins who's going to be bryce young's right hand man absolutely
supposedly. Then we also were able to bring in Junior Colson out of Michigan in the later round, somewhere I think it was the third round. And in the second round, the speedster out of Texas, the Longhorn, Xavier Worthy. So uh, hopefully those guys can make some impacts on the team. Honestly, Jonathan Mingo is probably going to get relegated to the bench. Probably have Xavier Worthy be our number two because he can stretch the field out. Hopefully, Bryce Young continues to develop. He's playing pretty well so far. We still have one year left on his rookie deal. Extend him and give him that fifth-year option. I think we will. Go ahead and bring Bryce Young back. Give him in two years just to make sure we maintain him. And uh, we'll go ahead and simulate until the midseason point. I'll see you there. Bryce Young stopped by the police with some unidentified substances. Huh? Probably a little human growth hormone. Trying to get him over the six foot mark. That's probably what it is. He's out for four weeks. He paid his price. Brian Burns out for two weeks. Maybe I should turn the training regimen down. Please get to the trade deadline so I can trade Dante Jackson's bitch ass. Jeremy Chin's back to play. Perfect. All right. Dante Jackson. I love... Oh, he's got two picks. Really? He's just so toxic. I don't get it. I want him to, want him to be a part of the team, but I... I just don't understand why everyone's in such a shitty mood. I've never used this feature one time because it's a complete waste. But hey, coach is throwing a pizza party. 25 coaching credits. Had a night at the cinema. Are you kidding me? And we still have toxic players. Why is that even a feature in this game? Why would you ever spend 25 coaching credits? And you still have players that are toxic. Why not literally meet with every single player and, and spend four to upgrade five. that's just an absolute joke of a feature i mean that's just that's that's ridiculous gonna go back to normal training regimen we'll fucking you know we'll bump up a couple of these too while we're at it take down seattle nope there goes the fans we just spent our coaching credits and there they go gotta get these coaching credits back up i, I think i got a little too frivolous with my spending chuba hubbard about to reach his potential he's been insane i don't know how i mean he's been good in real life too he's been very productive i mean in college he was an absolute beast so it makes sense bryce young speeding ticket i mean bryce young's just got something with the with the police uh, they got definitely got a no to his car are we really about to get shut out oh my god jeremy chin shaking hands with the president commemorating the players foundation which supports trauma research okay that will head trauma research. not just any trauma specifically to, to the noggin chris boswell leading the team uh, in a little party gonna gonna knock down his morale he's a he's a he's a little trickster he's a little jokester nine and five we're in the wild card we're not gonna win the division at least at this rate but there's a chance we could contend in the playoffs we got to figure our shit out I think for the last few weeks we're gonna go ahead and bump the training regimen down to light do not lose to arizona what are we doing falcons are 11 and 4 basically impossible to catch them in the division now morale gets fucking absolutely tanked so when we lose morale it goes down by 10 we praise the team and it goes up by one. All right, playing the Falcons, we basically... I don't know if we need to win this game in order to make the playoffs, but they are the number one team in the division, so please come back. Okay, we end up winning. We are in the wild card, 11-6 and six in our second season. Who are we going to be taking on in the wild card? It's not going to be Atlanta, is it? That wouldn't make any sense. Would it? Are we taking on Atlanta? Okay, I guess we are. Bryce Young, let's see the stats. 38 touchdowns, 5 picks. How did he have a better year last year? I have no idea. Chuba Hubbard, still insane. Less yards per carry, but still almost 2,000 rushing yards, so we'll take it. Hayden Hurst was kind of mid. T. Higgins was kind of mid. Xavier Worthy was great. Brian Burns, 11 sacks. Junior Colson, two picks, five sacks, and a forced fumble. And Dante Jackson had 17 tackles in 17 games. How the fuck do you even do that? Jonathan Mingo didn't play a single, single snap, so he probably will not be brought back. Taking on the Dirty Birds in the wild card matchup. Let's go ahead and skip to the fourth quarter. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. It's 21-14 at the half. It's 16-21. Falcons are punting. Panthers driving down the field. Up by a score. Falcons driving down the field. They punt it again. Carolina might get out of here with the win. They miss a field goal. Why are they going for it? Interception by Chin. Game is over. And the Panthers win by one, knocking off my least favorite team by far. I used to think, like the NFC North, for instance. I got a couple Packer fan friends. And, and they hate the Bears. They don't care as much about the Vikings and the Lions. Sure, they don't like them, but they hate the Bears. And I'm like, I don't really think I hate anyone in the NFC South. But then I'm like, oh yeah, I fucking hate the Falcons. I hate them. Because when Cam Newton was leading the MVP race and everything, and they went 15-1, and one, their only loss was to the Falcons. And that was the one where, where Luke Kuechly gets gets fucking mossed by Julio Jones, makes him look terrible. And that was the only loss they had that season. So fuck the Falcons. And we're happy to beat them and move on. To the divisional, we play the Commies, who have... They had the number one seed last year. They're 15-2. and two. Why are they so good? What is happening? Four-star offense, four-and-a-half-star defense. Let's see what we got. 7-3, first quarter. 7-10 in the first half. 
Commanders have it at midfield. Driving down the field. They're going to tie it up, it looks like. They do. Carolina. Incomplete punting. Why are, we, why are we punting the ball away? 30 seconds left. 26. Game's over. Jesus Christ. It's going to be the Jets again in Kansas City taking on Seattle, Washington. So it looks like the Commanders are going to move on to win it. Time to figure our shit out. Why are we not able to come through in the playoffs? we got Hayden Hurst expiring. Chris Boswell. We're not bringing any of these guys back. Looking at the team, it, it's pretty good. A four and a half star offense, four star defense. Xavier Worthy developed nicely. He's, he's at his potential, but it's pretty fucking good. It's a three and a half, but I mean, he's got maxed out speed. T. Higgins playing angry. He's got a lot of upgrades. Chuba Hubbard's been good. I don't really know what's holding us back right now. Probably just the defense overall. It is a four star. Hopefully you use this first round pick for something good. Got Ronnie Randall, defensive lineman. Four and a half star overall. This DB looks pretty good. He's a four star. I think we're gonna take Ronnie Randall. I just need somebody to get after the get after the quarterback opposite Brian Burns. So we're gonna go ahead and take him in the first. Now we've got Eric Kramer, who looks very good. Same with Jalil Okafor. God, is that Jaleel Okafor's cousin? We'll take Eric Kramer, who is an absolute beast. And uh, then we'll take this tight end as well. We'll take Snoop Kirk. Snoop Kirk! You, are you sure about that? We're not going to take him. We're going to take Jarius. Jarius instead. <laughs> All right, Xavier Worthy is now relegated to the bench. We're upgrading at a position we really didn't need to, but he is capped out. We'll throw one more round of upgrades in the facilities. Let's go ahead and make it to the playoffs. Let's win our division at the very least. 18 to nothing against Denver to start. We got a five-star offense. And what was our defense? I think it was, it's a five-star. We got two five-stars. There's no reason we should not be dominating. Ronnie Randall gets an upgrade in his first game. Junior Colson developing very well for no reason at all i just plug my controller in and i'm just gonna play with the controller which i didn't even realize i could do for the longest time all right we're gonna defend t higgins junior colson's out for a game i suppose that is the risk you take when you have the highest training regimen possible but we do win a shootout 37 to 34 we got a ton of yards from chuba hubbard he's gonna be completely maxed out now let's get the ball rolling meet with the team 75 Percent morale. Oh my God, Dante Jackson's out. And we lose another game. The fans are completely gone. I don't understand how we keep getting the fans up and then we just keep losing them again. Uh, I did not mean to click play. I'm gonna have to leave or restart the game. We got an overtime matchup. We lose to the Rams or the Ravens, I should say. No, nope, not the Ravens, the Raiders. Why, why can I not figure that out? Taylor Moten's an offensive lineman. Bryce Young, a uh, lot of stats, but it's gonna be empty because we don't win, so. All right, there we go. Get it back against the boys, 34 to seven. All right, it is officially time to trade some players. Xavier Worthy, potentially. If we get injured, it, we're gonna need somebody as a backup, but he's not hes not playing for us. So we are actually gonna trade Xavier Worthy for, is he worth it? I don't think he's actually worth trading for a second. If he was worth a first, maybe I could justify it. Like I would honestly consider, what does Kramer look like? Through seven games, he's got 14 catches and three touchdowns. All right, our rookie, is going to get traded for a first, and we're going to have Xavier Worthy starting. I don't actually want to meet with any of our players. I like them being toxic. It actually helps their stats, so never mind. All right, we traded away our rookie rookie receiver, so that way Xavier Worthy can come in, actually, and hopefully play for us. So uh, he played well last year when he started. I mean, he didn't win rookie of the year, but he was probably probably should have won it. We got a bye week. It's time for us to figure out what, what to do with this team. Ronnie Randall upgrades his speed. Bryce Young's back. All right, taking on the Lions. We're still leading the shitty division. All right, Dante Jackson's back. Jeremy Chin, unidentified substances. This team's got a serious drug issue. That is for certain. And we got our head coach back. Look at that. Jimmy Harbaugh. Why is he a two-star? He was a four-and-a-half star when I first started this. Is he getting worse as a coach because he's having to fucking take care of this team? It might be might be what it is. It's just it's wearing on him immensely. Do get another win. This one's against the Rams. Xavier Worthy already outproducing. Uh, Kramer, was it? Wait, was he? What What did that just say? Did that say he had 98 yards or 8 yards? He didn't have a single catch? Okay, do we just not have enough targets to go around to this team? T. Higgins, I guess our tight end's getting a lot of action. Chuba Hubbard's still running the ball well. Bryce Young, no interceptions, 35 touchdowns. Okay, I mean, there's no reason if Bryce Young hasn't thrown a pick yet that we should be 7-4. We should be winning a lot more games. That is a huge upgrade to the team morale. Playing the Chiefs now. Oh, we close it out. 31-21. This team is rocking and rolling now. We're going to defend our players. This is a new team that takes accountability for their actions. Oh, it's a slaughter. 35-16. We are securing the division lead. 
That is going to give us a home field game for the playoffs in week now 15. Dante Jackson's back again. I feel like I say that every year because he keeps getting injured every year. 24 to 3 against New Orleans, 11 and 4. Are we making a push for the number one seed? I'm going to go ahead and meet with the front office. We're going to upgrade the stadium again. I think we've gotten enough coaching credits. We are finally up to two bars. You know, we'll go ahead and upgrade the, the rehab facilities and we'll do the training facilities too. We're going to bump it all up. There's no excuse why we can't make a deep run in the playoffs. This team is poised. We have the the overall. We are gonna lose to the Falcons. How? How how does that happen? I mean, I know the Falcons were in the playoffs last year, but they are seven and nine. Final week of the regular season. It's the Bucks. It's the Panthers. And the Bucks lose it 33 to 16. We got the number one seed. I don't know how we did that. Three teams with a 12 and 5 record, and we got the number one seed. That's huge. That's one less game for us to have to win. Bryce Young gets himself an upgrade. Right before the playoffs, we're going to upgrade the arm strength. Okay, let's see what we got. We got a bye week, upgrade the team, give them some XP. We take on the Eagles, who were 10 and 7, five star offense, three star defense. That sounds about right as far as real life is concerned. Okay, Bryce Young playing very well. Uh, he's got uh, exceptional morale, gives him a speed boost. 57 touchdowns, two picks. 75% completion, 5,300 yards. Chuba Hubbard back to his old ways. Not as much rushing because we're airing the ball a little bit more. Taylor Moten with almost 100 blocks. Four sacks and Brian Burns. Definitely a down year because Ronnie Randall's there to make up the production. Junior Colson through two seasons. Two interceptions, eight sacks, four forced fumbles. Jeremy Chin with four picks. Dante Jackson missed seven games. Team has been very productive. Let's see what we can do in the playoffs. Taking on the Eagles. 17-10 at the half, 20-10. Eagles driving down the field. They're going to score a touchdown. They missed the extra point. Panthers, you got to do one last drive. And they do kick the field goal. Wait, Eagles, Hail Mary, game over. Carolina moves on, 23-16 in the divisional. We had the first round by. That's absolutely huge. We are already in the conference championship after one win. Who is it going to be against? It's Seattle, four and a half star offense, four star defense. We're rocking the all blacks. Conference championship, end of the first. Seattle's up by a score. Into the fourth quarter, up by a six point lead. Carolina driving down the field, knots it up, goes up by one. Seattle drives down the field. Randall, too slow, they go for two, they get it. Carolina, 55 seconds, 45 seconds. They're sacked, they run the ball. What happened? Seattle moves on to the uh, to the Super Bowl. Last drive, we got sacked. Bryce Young comes up short. Literally and figuratively, the Jets relevant again. Chuba Hubbard, Offense Player of the Year. Brian Burns, Defense Player of the Year. Seattle moves on to win it. We were so close yet so far away. Got a lot more offers here. We are going for one last season. Got to vote. Oh my God, there's so many contracts to bring back. Bryce Young clearly needs to be re-signed chuba hubbard one offensive player of the year probably not gonna be able to bring him back xavier worthy we are gonna re-sign him taylor moton probably gonna go brian burns defensive player of the year gonna bring him back we only have about 75k left dante jackson you can you can kick rocks buddy jeremy chin's coming back junior colson's coming back on a pretty team friendly deal at 13 mil we got 40 mil to play with we're letting all these players walk clearly there's something wrong with this team that's why we cannot finish it off in the playoffs we bring back who we need to and before the draft we're going to bring in one final free agent it is going to be none other than saquon barkley yes you're not supposed to pay running backs but he is a difference maker out of the backfield he can catch strong you know stout good low center of gravity it'll take the pressure off of bryce young who has an mvp as well as we have two first round picks for trading away our receiver last year and uh, let's hopefully be able to take some young talent as we have a gap. Is there nobody? What what am, what am I seeing here? I've never seen this before in my life. There's literally a gap. And it's all offensive players too. What the fuck is going on here? All right, I restarted the uh, restarted the app. I don't know why there was a literal gap and there was no player there. It's got these two defenders. Okay. Jarrett Edmonds is pretty good. Uh, if we brought in Jarrett Edmonds, we'd have to get somebody with 11 mil contract. And we could bring in this Elliot fella who actually looks pretty good. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take a tight end here. We're going to take Elliott. So now we have two tight ends. Uh, I don't really know how productive that's going to be for the for the team overall, but we have two tight ends. And we're going to take Jarrett Edmonds in the first round as well. Trade away the rest of our, you know, coaching credits. Co trade, trade away the rest of our picks and uh, upgrade the front office for hopefully the last time. This better be it. I mean, we have a pretty stout offense and defense. We've had a five-star, you know, maybe we got to bring in somebody on, on the coach, you know, coaching somebody with talent spotter potentially. 18 coaching credits for 
a talent spotter, Hodge. We've upgraded the facility so much. We've brought in players that clearly are impactful. You know, T. Higgins, we drafted Xavier Worthy, brought in Saquon Barkley. Bryce Young has produced. He's got an MVP, but we can't get over the hump. We've got uh, an elite pass rusher alongside of a 31-year-old Brian Burns now, Junior Colson and Jeremy Chin, athletic linebackers. And uh, now we've got Jarrett Edmonds, who can hopefully fill in the gap for what Dante Jackson was bringing us. We're going to go ahead and turn the training regimen on normal. Well, we'll turn it on hard, actually, for the beginning of the season. We're going to give it like five weeks. Hopefully our players can develop. I'm not going to spend any more coaching credits. This is our fourth year, I want to say, and this is the last year, regardless of how we do. So can we get Carolina a championship? We're going we're gonna to continue to sim through. We're going to find out. Team Morale got a huge boost. They're up to 83%, taking on Buffalo, who keeps beating us every season so far. They were up by two scores, and they beat us by one. Oh, my God. We kind of had to come back. Oh, my God. Why, when you criticize the team, does it go down by fucking 10? You want our tight end. Has he been productive? No, he has not. Trade him away for a first rounder? Absolutely. Also, why is this team so injury riddled? I do not understand. Probably the training regimen. Okay, training regimen's gonna go down to normal for the remainder of the season, and it might go down to light as we get closer. I almost feel like making it light makes you lose games. Maybe that's just like a superstition, but it feels like whenever I change the training regimen to light, they actually play worse. So we end up beating Dallas, who we've beaten, I feel like every single year, we beat them 40 to three. All right, Carolina fucking finish it off here in overtime. We actually get an overtime win, 41-35. Praising Bryce Young. Let's get him to ex you know, exceptional morale and hopefully get him a speed upgrade. Is that where he's sitting at? Is that how you do it? All right, that's, that's accuracy. Maybe you got to have conditioning for for the speed i think that's what it is we're going light for the rest of the year i don't i don't care we need to make sure everyone's healthy and honestly conditioning although it's temporary upgrades that matters more than the progression of the players because i think the players are pretty good at this point and we're trying to mitigate injuries as well t higgins goes down for two weeks of course he's still getting an upgrade for randall although i think he's maxed out no he's not he's still got a lot of conditioning upgrades jeremy chin's back trade deadline I'm not going to ship anybody off we are not in the market to be uh rebuilding we are in the market for buying honestly and we lose to Chicago. Oh my God. Still have some fans though. Accuracy's maxed out for Bryce Young. There's really not a lot left for him to do. Miami, how dare you? We're six and three. We're not even projected to win our division right now. What is happening? I'm telling you, the training regimen's too light. We got to. We're putting it back to normal. I just got a feeling. I feel like it fucks with your. Feel like, feel like it fucks with your team. Wasn't as bad as I thought. The Jets have been making every Super Bowl, and they destroy us by two scores. Come on, are, are, we, are we kidding? Are we really falling apart here in the second half of the season? Dude, Xavier Worthy, unidentified substances. Every season, somebody gets busted with something. Female defensive coordinator, we don't care. We, we're very progressive. That's, that's, that's just who we are. That's just the type of organization this is. Not like the Raiders, you know? The Raiders, they got a little something up their sleeve. How are we losing? To another divisional team. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not. Guys, I got to take accountability. It's not my fault. I don't get it. H how? We're not even projected to make the wild card now. It's a four and a half star offense, a five star defense. Bryce, what are you doing? Eight picks? That's like literally as many of you thrown as in the first three seasons combined. Brian Burns, one sack. What the fuck is going on? Was Dante Jackson the missing piece? I, I don't know what to do. Free agents, maybe? I don't even know. We bring in an offensive lineman? Okay, Tevin Tabor. Come come to the team. We got enough cap room to bring you in. Offensive lineman, maybe keeps him upright. I said I wasn't going to do it. We're going back to light. And we're going to upgrade our training facilities and everything else one last time. Back in the wild card. Got to win and we're in. That's all we need to do. Win and in. What the hell is going on with Xavier Worthy? All right, we're going to defend him, I guess. We're going to meet with him too. We're going to say, hey, buddy, let's 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 stop doing what that is. Let's stop doing what you've been up to. 13 nothing, 24-7. Okay, we have a chance to actually win the division. We had a first round bye last year. We still couldn't do it. T. Higgins is toxic. How is T. Higgins toxic? I didn't even see that when I was going through the meetings. I guess we'll meet with him too. We'll go ahead and boost his... Morale say, hey, buddy, knock it off. One last game. This actually might be for the division. I don't know what the uh, what the record is for the for the Falcons as far as interdivisional. We always seem to beat up on the Bucks. See if we can do it again. 14 nothing. Up by three touchdowns. Closed it out. Didn't win the division, so no home game for us. We finished 11 and six. We've taken them to the playoffs three straight years. We take on the Falcons in the first round. A four and a half star offense, a five star defense for us. They have a Two and a half star offense and a five star defense. Halftime, 10 nothing. 10 6. 17 6. We're moving on to the divisional. 
The Panthers are rolling, baby. Don't want anyone to get hurt. Playing the Bears, bro. They're 15 and 2. Three star offense, five star defense. Come on. This is, this is not it. This is light work for us. Come on. 14 10. 21. We're going in OT. Panthers kick it off. It's a fumble. It's a fumble. Short. Kick the field goal. We got it. Overtime win against the Bears. Whew. Team morale going up to 83%. Randall with another upgrade. Gonna upgrade his stamina for the playoffs. We got our offensive lineman back. We're in the conference championship against the Cardinals, who were 12-4-1. A five-star offense, a four-star defense. Probably our toughest opponent yet. One last upgrade for the training facilities. And the stadium. Please, for the love of God, simulate this game. First quarter, 14-7. Halftime, 14-7. We almost came back. 21-27. Arizona Cardinals move on. Baltimore, Arizona. Ravens win the Retro Bowl. Here's the final team. There it is. Screenshot it. Make it your wallpaper. Do whatever you want. 64 touchdowns, 13 picks. I don't know how the more accurate he became, the more picks he threw. Saquon Barkley broke the single season rushing record. T. Higgins... 1,500, Xavier Worthy, 2,000 receiving yards. Defense didn't perform as well in that second season. Junior Colson played really well. Jarrett Edmonds was a, a great standout rookie. Bryce Young with an MVP is not able to, uh, able to do it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Keep pounding, Carolina. Goodbye.